Okay, that's number four. Number five is asking, what is the next number in the sequence? So I want the next. number in the sequence and they give me the sequence so I have 9 3 1 1 over 3 and then some type of value and I want the next number right so in order for us to look at the uh, these uh, sequences and series is kind of the topic of our of our um, of our kind of, of interest here so we have a, in this case we would either have we have a sequence here for sure and we have to either figure out is this a geometric sequence or a arithmetic sequence so geometric or arithmetic sequence and basically in this case here what we have here is indeed a geometric sequence and the reason why we can we have this is because I can't I don't have um sorry I don't have um it's not I'm not adding or subtracting uh, numbers um as I go through the sequence like if you if you look at only uh, the differences here nine minus three here is simply just six and then three minus one here is two one minus here is like two thirds or something these guys are not constant right so therefore I don't have an arithmetic sequence in this case so I would have to have a geometric sequence. And what is a geometric sequence? Well, if I'm multiplying uh, a, a fixed number from one term to the next here. And in this case, I'm multiplying nine over three, nine times what number would give me three while well, I'm multiplying one third, right? So these from here to here is also one third, here to here is also one third. And we can actually use this. Uh, we can basically use um, a formula of saying, um, uh, what what is n two divided by n one here to figure out our uh, to figure out the whatever we we call this the we call this the kind of our our, our value um, and it's going to uh, basically be the uh, proportion or basically it's going to help us find what the next number of our sequence is. So in order for us to do that, um, there's a general formula for a geometric sequence, and I'll write this down for you. And it's going to state that a sub n equals a1 times r to the n minus 1 here. And we know in this case our r here is 1 third, right? So we found out that r here equals 1 over 3. So therefore, an n here just means our the term here, right? So I can say that this here is going to be our, um, this is going to be our, right? So right, this here is our a1, a2, a3, and a4 here. So I want to, I want, I want to figure out what a5 is, right? So if I want to figure out what a5 is, I'm simply putting a5 here, a is, and the n is here equals 5 equals um, our a, our a, this is our a, a1 here. Um, and this is, I, I, it should be a n minus 1 actually, so sorry about this. This is our n minus 1. Um, Actually, this is a1, you're right, this is a1 here. a1 here is 9 times r, which is our 1 third, minus n minus 1 here, which is 5 minus 1 here. And this will help us figure out what this uh, arithmetic sequence is. So a to sub 5 is 9 to the power of 1 over 3 to the power of 4 here. And then all I'm going to have to do is use my calculator to figure this out, right? To the power of 4. And this will give us 1 over 9, right? You can think of this, uh, if I didn't have a calculator here, you could think of this as 9 over 1 over 3 uh, to the power of 4 would simply just be 1 over 3 to the power of 4, right? So the power of 4 here, 9 times what's what 3 to the power of 4? Well, 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, times another 3 is 81. So therefore, my last term here, these two guys cancel it to make 9. So my term here is 1 over 9. And as you can see, A5 here is just simply 1 over 9. So this here is going to be our answer for this problem here. And again, for arithmetic, uh, for geometric sequences here, they don't really depend on um, the kind of, uh, uh, it's not a series where they depend on the uh, term that's next to it. They basically, I only need the first term and I need to find my R value. And I, once I have those two pieces of information, I can solve for any term in my sequence here. So this here is a one over nine here. So this solution here is correct. Correct. Good analysis here. Number four.